<laughs> this cute kitty made a name for herself when she took an unscheduled trip from New Zealand to South Korea. We will share her remarkable story with you in today's video. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Nuffy Cat. We're so glad that you can join us today. And somebody's having cute little wings. Such cute little wings. <laughs> Colin is a very lovely calico cat. Some also say that she's a tricolor tortoiseshell, but she looks an awful lot like our calico <laughs> from many years ago. His name was Funky, who lived to be 24 years old. <laughs> well, Colin was adopted by Colin Butler, the Portaronaki Tanker Terminal Manager in New Plymouth, New Zealand. She had been abandoned as a little kitten and he took her in. He was known for carrying her about in his pocket when she was really, really little. Well, at first, she was a port cat. She loved hanging out when the workers would come off of the ships or go to the ships and they often fed her treats and they gave her food. She loved the watch house that was by the Newton King Taylor Terminal and that was her home. Well, in November of 2001, her appetite brought her to board one of the tankers. She apparently meowed and meowed and spoke and trilled to a crew member there, the second engineer named Zhang Yong Xiao. He thought at first that she might be a stray kitty, and so he took her in, he fed her, and he had brought her on board with him so that he could make sure to give her some food. And they ended up, after he fed her, they both fell asleep. Well, when he woke up, the tanker had already taken off on the voyage to South Korea. And so there he was, and the kitty stuck on the ship. He realized that she was the poor cat then, and he sent back pictures and emails during the voyage, letting everyone know that Colin's cat was okay. She traveled nearly 10,000 kilometers on her adventure, all the way from New Zealand to South Korea, so you can imagine. She slept on his sofa during that journey, though. The little Ferrin says, and was fed salmon, beef, and lots of snacks. Her being gone on this voyage ended up hitting international news, including newspapers in Korea, international news from New Zealand, and all over the world. The New Zealand Terminal's superintendent, Gordon McPherson, flew to South Korea to meet the ship when it landed 18 days later with the kitty. And he was greeted there with guests and with people from the media already. Well, by this time, the word was out, so there were some very kind companies, Korean Airlines and Whiskas Cat Food, that assisted Mr. McPherson and Collins so that they could afford to fly back to New Zealand. They landed to much fanfare. Media was absolutely everywhere. Her safe delivery to New Zealand was all over the world news. <laughs> That's just amazing. McPherson ended up keeping custody of her and has taken wonderful care of her. When she arrived safely in New Plymouth, Mayor Peter Tennant announced that she would be awarded a certificate and a medallion as an honorary ambassador of the district on behalf of the people and the felines of New Plymouth. And I think that's very fitting for a kitty who's traveled that far. Well, it is a joy to share this story with all of you today and thank you so much for watching if you like the contents of our videos don't forget to take those paws and pause that like button you can pause the subscription button and you can pause the notification
notification bell. Paw all when you paw that notification bell and you'll be notified so that you can see all Loving Lefty Cats videos. Well, thank you all so very much. And we love